attractive as a magnet, eh? And, just a moment, Miss Primbody, the professor wants to favour it. Give him a magnet and a few pins, and they'll all get together as friendly as you like. There, all his own work. Some magnets, unlike bananas, are straight. They are bar magnets, but nothing to do with bar maids. And magnets can push as well as pull. Place a magnet on a pivot and it'll point north, or nearly. It's this curious property that gives the mariner his compass. Let's go into this magnetic business a little further and see how the lines of force radiate. Here's a bar magnet and a piece of cardboard. And above the magnet we sprinkle some iron filings. See what happens when we tap the board. As you'd expect from a magnet, it makes the most attractive patterns. Opposite poles attract, similar poles repel. Watch the space between the magnets and notice how the filings are drawn to it. Now we'll reverse the magnets and the filings are pushed away from it. Where once was a busy little community is now a deserted village. The name Magnet comes from Magnes, a Phrygian shepherd of long ago. He always carried an iron-tipped crook, and quite by chance he found it attracted a certain dark stone. This was lodestone, a magnetic oxide of iron and a natural magnet. As a pin attractor, it certainly has points. It was Faraday who discovered that a magnet would generate an electric current in a circuit of wire, provided there was movement. And that, in simple form, is the theory of the modern magneto. The galvanometer shows that a current is induced in a coil of wire when the magnet is moved. What's the pointer? When the magnet is still, there is no current. When a magnet approaches a piece of soft iron, the iron too becomes a magnet but only until the first magnet is withdrawn. A current is induced when a magnet is moved near an iron core. The same thing happens if we move the core and coil and keep the magnet still. The diagram illustrates the innards of a magneto. The coils rotate between the poles of the magnet and generate the current that leaps across the sparking plug, up there on the right. Yes, science is grateful to old man Magnes. Without magnets, there may not have been motor cars. Or the winged instruments of war. Some say good old Magnes.